We just got another Channel 5 video seven minutes ago. We're early. Oh. And it's about hip hop. So this this triggers all my all, all my talking points. It's on the internet. It's about rap. It's Channel 5 with Andrew Callahan. I'm a simple man. I see a good video. I click a good video. Ah! Ah! I made it to the front, baby! Made it to the front! Yeah! Let's go! Suicide! Suicide boys, baby! I'm on tabs! What? I'm on tabs! Of what? As in, we're off to the moon! Huh. Fuck the church of the Latter-day Saints! Fuck the Mormon church! Utah on this bitch! Fuck the Mormons, bitch! This is the story- That is so Utah! Like, where else are you gonna find people protesting Mormons? Huh? ...of the Utah pioneers. Who were they? What did they believe? I'm a V-Long thug! What does it mean to be a V-Long thug? A V-Long thug is the one that's, you know, you're hardcore, bro. A real life motherfucking thug, bro. That real thug life, bro. That V-Long thug oh, life. Oh, yeah. V-Long thug life, bro. Yeah. What's the most V-Long thug thing you've ever done? Man, I stole a pocket knife the other day. Why? Why not? A V-Long thug, bro. A V-Long thug, bro. You got a pocket knife, man. Sharp as... Sharp as a kitchen knife. V-Long thugs, bro. If you had to kill one person, who would it be? Probably Hillary, Cl Hillary Clinton, bro. All that fucking fake email shit about them talking about pizza, but really they're talking about molesting children and a whole fucking scam of child trafficking, bro. Double V-Long thug it in! Be safe with COVID. Shout out Joe Rogan, Eminem, and all the V-Long thugs out there, brother! V-Long! I don't think Eminem is a V-Long thug. He wasn't inducted. They didn't jump him in. They seem like they are real gangsters, so. How do you feel about the police overall? Bro, what? Heroes. Heroes. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you're generally asking someone like why they don't like cops, you kind of fuck with cops. That's the vibe you're getting? I'm just playing. I, I fuck with Seattle for real. Who's your favorite white rapper of all time? Hey, shout out Zan. I fuck with Lil Zan. He cool. You met Lil Zan? Yeah, he cool. He fucks with us. Does he? Mm -hmm. If I call him, is he going to say bullshit? Yeah, call him. What's your name? Andrew. He's actually, he's actually calling Lil Zan. Bro. I bet you Lil Z I, maybe I missed a, a different rap festival, but I bet you Lil Zan fucks with Andrew Callahan, bro. Out of all the people claiming that they're real thugs out in this music festival, the most thug life dude out here is Andrew Callahan. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh wait, someone's FaceTime me. Let's see what it is. Damn, I'm on, on, a, on camera, don't answer my call. So Lil Xan didn't answer? No. Well, it's not Lil Xan, it's like uh, his best friend, his roommate or whatever. Fuck the baby! I'm still rocking with the baby. Everybody makes mistakes sometimes, he said he's sorry. Follow me on Instagram. Can we put the baby and Trump in the Coliseum together? Let's let him fight to the death! We could toss Epstein in there with him as well. You look like my cousin. That's fucking crazy. Um, I have a SoundCloud, follow me on Terror B. What kind of music do you make? I don't think I will. Actually, you know what? Let me let me give her a chance. Her name is Terror B. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This got to be her, huh? Minneapolis. Terror B. Ashlyn Brooke. That's quite enough. Yeah. What would you say if Zilla was standing right here? Bro, I'd give him a piece of my hair. <laughs> for real. I'm gonna try to figure it out for you. I met this kid out there. I'm I think he's your Zilla. biggest fan. He wants to cut his largest dread off and uh, and give it to you. That sounds fucking nasty, but I'll allow him. I'll let him do it. Okay. Should we do it right now? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Oh! Bro, I'm so excited. This is the only reason why I'm here right now. I love Zilla. That's my shit. What's going through your mind right now? You're backstage, you're about to meet your idol and give him one of your dreadlocks. It's just unreal. I feel like this is just fake. <laughs> you talked to the right it's one. Real. You yeah. talked to the right one today. Now you get to give him way. one of your... One of your dreads, no bro. No fucking way, man. <laughs> What's up, dude? I'm about to cut off a dread for you. Is it worth it? I think so, is it not? It's up to you, man. 
Fuck, I can't get it, man. There it goes. <laughs> Why am I? I don't know what to do with this. It actually smells pretty good. It literally smells like shampoo. Zilla literally has no idea why this guy did this. You can do a freestyle right now? Fuck no, I can't do a freestyle. $10 in your cash app right now? Fuck. 15 bucks. Fuck, my mind is racing right now. I can you freestyle. <laughs> Booty meat. Back row seats. Cup full of skeet. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga feet. Sitting by a big tree. Put dildos into thee. Bitch came from Italy. Uh, on the spot. I can't think of anything. Metaphors and similes are like blades, cutting up the fucking instrumental every day, and I do my fucking thing. You have any tattoos? Nah, I'm only 17. That don't matter. I'm gonna get a shit ton. I know that, but I'm broke. I spent all my money on this place. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. What do you mean? He just gave you his dread. This seems like it was pretty worth it for him. He didn't even get to see his favorite artist, the baby. Yeah, yeah. Fuck all of you! Fuck what? Fuck everyone who didn't come here! Eeny meeny, I'ma roll up a blunt, take a smoke. We could dance on a pole, on the floor, drop it low, run it back, we could bow. She wanna ride the bro. She wanna ride the bro? She wanna ride the bro. What does that mean? Uh, like she wants to have sex with my friend. Which friend was that in reference to? Uh, in reference to <laughs> Alex here. <laughs> oh my she wants god. To have sex with me. Do you know your SPM? Uh, Haley, what's my SPM? Strokes per minute. At maximal velocity. Seven. Cap. You guys fuck with Zans? Hell yeah. What's your favorite kind of Zan? Wait, wait, wait. Fatties, the fat boys, the blue. Is that is that Young Gravy? Right here? I feel like that's Young Gravy. Ones. I was at a music festival and I did like nine different drugs. And then I sipped some like cold water extract lean. I was like lying on a carpet. I had no idea what was going on, but... That's a flex. We were going to make a softcore porn, and I asked my parents. I sat them down. I was like, look, I have a really good music music video idea. I need to make the softcore porn out. And my mom was like, I have friends. My mom was super down for me. to. There, she was like, yeah, do a softcore porn. It's all good. And then his mom wasn't with it. Oh, I have actually not. I swear to God, I have he not just because his homie on the, on the I lips? I don't know how it happened. It's crazy. It was like, I just wasn't really trying I have to no nut, idea why and I just nut. Why did they kiss? Why I I don't know why they they just they were just like yeah I want one. They're probably on Molly, man. They gotta be like, I mean you know whatever. They want to kiss their homies on the you know on the on the mouth. That's whatever, man. That's cool. But they're probably drugged up. <laughs> Considering what they're saying, I'm gonna say that they were just like I I gotta feel some sensation somehow. I don't know. I don't know. Just kiss me. Hey, yeah, Jeezy World coming soon. I'm about to go crazy, man. You nervous? Nah, 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 nah. Hey, I'm sober, though. This is my first show sober. He ain't got that dope. Oh, Jeezy is Q of QAnon. Oh, Jeezy is Q. I, I honestly don't, I didn't know about that. He's the one who infiltrated the entire government. Like, are they just saying whatever the fuck comes to their mind? Are these people the definition of trash? No. I think these are your. This is your average concert goer after a year of being inside. Fucking, uh, I, I went out to Warp Tour. It was the same shit. The difference is, is that we didn't have some guy randomly going around, you know, uh, interviewing people. But I'm sure that they would have gotten some of the same answers. Keep my dick in my pants. My bitch don't love me no more. <laughs> All my favorite rappers are dead, bro. Long live X. I never had no role models. I never had no father figure, so I looked up to bro. I'm named after a motherfucker who wasn't even my dad. What's your name? My name's... Fuck my name. Y'all go home and call your parents. You say, hi, mom, hi, dad. You wake up, tell your mom hi. She fucking got breakfast on the table, waffles, eggs, all that. Me, no. That's how you think that we live? No, no I'm not saying I'm saying it's possible because me, I've never experienced that shit. And this never shit. had breakfast? No, I'm not saying I'm an orphan. I'm not saying I never had breakfast, but I don't go home to my parents and I haven't since I was a fucking baby because I ain't worth nothing. Not true, man. I'm just worth what I fucking wear on my body. I just want to tell you, man, you're not worthless. I don't give a shit. My fucking state's full of Skittles, and the baby should have been here. Well, what's your name? Kelly Binkard. Modern Edge Custom Cabinets. Right, we got Modern Edge Custom Cabinets. So, uh, how many times have you had your ass eaten? I haven't yet, but I'm not against it. 
So if XXX Tentacion came to you before his passing and had a homegirl with him when he performed in Salt Lake City, Utah, and he had a homegirl here trying to lick your booty hole, what would you say? I think this guy's really obsessed with booty holes. Fuck LDS! What's LDS? The Latter Day Saints, bro. They're Aren't really like out Mormons. here protesting I'm the Latter Day Saints. Antichrist! Oh my Fuck god. Fuck the Mormons, bro. Fuck religion! Fuck religion! Who makes you the Antichrist? I like dressing edgy, bro. Good vibes, monster. I've been drinking this since I was 12! Why? Because caffeine is my addiction. What do you want to be when you grow up? Famous. This is my bitch. This is my bitch, dude. Hey. Sir! Remember these faces. Sipping on Coco, bitch, I go loco. Think that I'm playing, bitch, that is a no-no. Taking this bitch and she like what addicted. Fuck her so good, that little hoe is addicted. You was sipping on lean, I was sipping on Kool-Aid. Talking that shit, little boy, you a munchkin. They call me Lil Zay, and I'm here to get the pay. Cause I'm fucking bitches, and I leave them in the ditches. And I stay really fly. That's all I got. That's all I got. Oh, I'm Chris Dallas? Hey, hey, big 14 on the B. I'ma come up, fuck your bitch. I'ma get that for free. Hey, got that, then I snap back, rack it, then it slap it, stop it, and go stop shit in the slime that I rock with. Super toxic, box him like the oxys, and you know we popping. I'm talking chicken, they know I'm robo, can't talk, cause I'm in the throw, bro, Star Wars. I'm on solo, drugsy, dressed in a polo, I style, call me frozen, rap on a skrilla, say I'm a driller, walk in the party with all of my killers, run up, I stay in a villa, Glock 945, it'll short kill ya, fuck her appendix, fuck my nemesis, you want some pussy boy, but you're not getting it. Yes, it is, but only if I'm spitting it, only be famous if you stay consistent. Bad little Barbie, I'm her little. Can. Bad little Barbie, I'm her little can. Paying for tens, then we pull up in bands. Yes, we pull up in bands. And I stay with my friends. That's all I got. That's all I got. Actually, actually pretty fire. Hey, act, that was actually, he, he's a young one. I mean, he, he started off, when he started off with, you know, going on about bitches, we all know that he, he, he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. But, you know what I mean? It was written, but it was kind of fire. It, to, see, to see a kid, you know, practicing his craft, I like to see it. Some of the stuff I rap about may not be true, but it's what everyone wants to hear now. People just want to hear straight trap shit, straight. I fucking shoot people, I straight smoke weed, like, it doesn't matter. People want to hear that shit. I do have my songs where I, I pour my heart my feels out into my music. Fucking, I grew up with, like, an abusive mom mentally, physically. And See, oh, here she we kicked go. me out the house for the some real, shit. Man. I used this to live the in real. Ogden. And then I moved all the way down here with my father. Me and my father recently just got evicted from our, our house. And I was like out on the street basically. And then I've this has been my friend for like six years. And he told me, he was like, hey bro, like you really need a place to stay. Like I got you, you like I got an extra room right now. And so I was like, bro, you're a lifesaver. And so now I've been living with him for a few months. What do you want to be when you grow up, bro? I want to be a famous rapper. Actually, I'm on my way there. 300,000 views on two songs. When you say on your way, like how, how close are you? I'm still far, I got a lot of work to do, but I'm gonna get there one day. What, how old are you? I'm 17. How old are you? I'm 15. Do what you love and never fucking give up. Grind. Don't make it. Grind. I love it. Crack it, then it slap it. Stop it, and we'll start shit in the slime that I rock with. Super toxic, box him like the oxys, and you know we pop it. Fuck the haters. Fuck what everybody has to say. It's that right mindset that gets you there. The whole edit just kind of reminds me of what it's like to be at. A concert you know how how hectic it is being in a concert like going from place to place everybody around you barely any place to move you can't really like trying to swim through the crowd uh that was i mean that looked like fun but you know they're out here like yo all my homies all my homies hate the latter-day saints bro all my homies hate the